all Brendan here, AKA Cliff Jumper. We're gonna take a quick break from larger repairs to deal with a typical Mark IV problem, and that is the driver's side broken window switches. Yes, those things love to break. So we're gonna do a quick video to show you how to swap them out. In terms of beginner repairs, this is one of the easiest ones to do. It's not a whole lot to it, but see if this looks familiar. This, this button in particular, these things just like, yeah, that's not supposed to do that. It's all messed up. So this whole thing can get replaced. You can buy a replacement window switch panel for about 20 bucks or less on Amazon. So this is what we're gonna swap in to remove it. You're going to take a flathead screwdriver and pry out this little panel right here. It's the back side of the, the door pull handle. That will release. Take that out. And now you can either use your thumb and pop up this stuff because it's really not held in there super strong. There are some clips along the back side which you might need to just take a flathead screwdriver and insert very gently on the end to pop them out. And look, that's already released. So boom, there's a connector right here. This connector has a very simple squeeze tab on it right there. Squeeze that, that comes out. Now we have this entire thing out on the back. We've got a screw up here. We've got two screws at the bottom. That's all it takes to swap this panel out. So let's go do that. And you can see uh, this had previously been replaced apparently from a pick your part. So really don't go with a used part. They just break. It's already been somebody else's problem. It's just cheaper and easier and probably more reliable to get a new switch controller panel and pop it in. There we go. That's out. Done. Old one out. New one. Oh, look at that. That even came all the way apart. How cool. Yeah. New one fits in place. Voila, that is in place. Let's go put it back. Reinstalling it is the reverse. So we're just gonna put the connector back in place here. And can I do it one-handed? Let's see. Yes. All right, so that's happily in place. That will simply go back. There we go. Okay, that's all snapped back in place and this little thing goes back in there. Squeeze, done. Now these switches actually work, so cool. Job well done. Well, I hope that helped you out, so God bless you. And uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and share if you know somebody who's got really janky knobs in their uh, 1.8 turbo or their Mark IV 2.0 or VR6 or whatever it is they happen to have, TDI, Jetta Golf, whatever. R32, yeah, it could happen in an R32. I've seen some pretty trashed ones. Anyway, see you soon. Hope it helped you out. Bye-bye. And on that terrible disappointment, <laughs> It's time to say goodbye, we'll be back.